Hello guys, I figured out how to train a large language model in about 15 to 20 minutes and it came off of fixing the biggest mistake in large language model pre-training I've ever done in my life. So this is pre-trained from scratch, not fine-tuned from an existing model. And you can see here that it actually speaks coherently. This is just 15 minutes of training on age 100, I'll tell you more. So. Once upon a time, in a cozy little village where everyone came together to talk about the world, in this town there was an amazing club called a Diversity. So it actually has some coherence, although I think if I let it train for maybe 15-20 more minutes, maybe an hour, it would be even a lot better. But it knows that it's talking about a club here, and then it mentions club later here again, meaning that it keeps the context, it knows like what this, uh, the, and it's a village, and like there is a club in the village, so it makes sense. So first of all, this model is full uh, gated delta net model. So it's different from transformer, although uh, you could actually apply transformer, doesn't matter. Transformer would train a bit longer few times longer, so instead of 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it would take an hour, maybe hour and a half. But uh, Transformer has advantages in that it can understand very long sequences better than these like state space models like gated delta net. But that's not important. Actually, in this research, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to combine Transformer layers and gated delta net layers like Quen3 does. So now I'm going to tell you how I discovered the biggest mistake I've ever made and how that led to 20 minute LLM pre-training that I discovered. Look at this loss graph and you see that loss here is getting very close to zero. So I was very suspicious here because I heard that in large language models loss should hover around one and a half two. So why is my loss getting to zero? And this is validation loss. So in short, first of all, I trained a very repetitive data. So it was very small amount of data repeated so, so many times. I did not want to do that. And secondly, I validated on that memorized data. So that was a second mistake. And I didn't want to do that either. So I was trying not to do that, but there were like some mistakes. And uh, here, this is the bug fix. So this is the bug, the old version. And this is the new version. So I'm going to explain. So what you should do in Transformer. You take sequence length, you train transformer on this sequence, you go move to the next part, so you move, you skip, you don't do like here, you skip the whole thing and then this is the next sequence, okay? So your stride when training transformer or whatever language model should be like the whole sequence length. Well, in my previous version where it was bugged, I was actually just striding by one token. So every time I'm learning a new sequence, there is just one token difference. So this was training very repetitive data. It was memorizing very repetitive data. So that was the problem. And then I was also validating on that data. And funnily enough, when I noticed that I'm validating on training data, I actually split. So I was then validating on different data. And then my validation loss started to skyrocket while my training loss went almost to zero. Here on my X post, you can see that actually Validation loss was 7, and then later it went to 9, while training loss went to almost 0. So, by the way, follow me on X. I actually don't have any followers. I have a little bit of followers. I have like almost 10k subscribers, but like 150 followers, so follow me here. 99.9% .9 wasted compute, my new record, yeah. But that's it, that's what I wanted to show you. So now I'm actually so happy that now I'm getting the validation loss around one, two, it's not, it's still not like around one and a half because I need to train more. This is a Kimi K2 training loss. And you see in the beginning, actually, uh, my loss now is even higher than two. So, but this is true. Uh, like I have such a small amount of tokens that you could not be, uh, even see it here. So only like a few million and this is in trillions. Uh, but anyways, I'm happy that now at least like my loss is at, at zero. If you want to train this LLM, it's very simple. You just go to the description, Blueberry LLM, and you go here to experiments, or actually you just clone this. So there will be experiment number six, which is the one that I'm doing right now. You need to install the requirements here and requirements within experiment six, which is going to be the flash linear attention. 
I'm using Novita AI to rent age 100 here. They give 50% off. So just 73 cents per hour. If you choose this spot billing, uh, you can use my affiliate below. They're going to give me like GPU compute uh, and you can get 50% off if you choose spot billing. So I'm using compute I get through the affiliate logins to make these videos and uh, open source whatever I do. Actually, let me show you how to do it because I want to actually now uh, run this on 1490. So I choose spot billing and 1490 here, just 18 cents per hour. And uh, actually, I chose here PyTorch 280. This is the latest version. So change template and I'm going to deploy. So just one or two or a few minutes later, I can click here connect. And so I need this IP. You can watch my video, my AI research setup. Just uh, type that. Or uh, I'm going to show you here. So I want to connect via SSH and I want to configure SSH here. And I want to check if this OCAU, so this is Australia, I believe. So this needs to be this one. Okay, save. And then I can connect to that. So it's going to be this first that I configured. And I'm going to have to wait uh, here, continue. But if you want a full tutorial, just uh, search on my YouTube, my AI research setup. Then I want to click uh, clone repo from GitHub and then clone. And then I'm going to select uh, my blue or I would just paste the link here because uh, you will not have it. So I'm going to click here, this repo, and I'm just going to select the root, whatever. And you can find the link below. So I need to now open it. And it's going to be this one and OK. And by the way, you will have to uh, fork the repository first if you want to make changes. And then later you can commit. You can do some experiments and commit back and I will credit you. Uh, you can add a new experiment. So git checkout uh, x6 for me. This is the branch. But for you, it will be like just main or whatever. So first, I'm going to pip install uh, requirements. So these requirements, uh, we don't have anything special here, just a few. So this one is for rope. Uh, this one I forgot. And then we need to go into experiments and experiment six and then install uh, these requirements. And this is just uh, flash linear attention. So because we are using gated delta net here. My uh, plan here is to use gated delta net alongside real transformer, like standard transformer, just like Quen3 next used. I'm going to do some experiments, see which one works best. Uh, now I'm very happy because <laughs> my training finally works. So now I'm using um, 1490 GPU. So previously I was using age 100. So it trained for like 20 minutes to one hour. Uh, but now it's going to train a couple times slower. Uh, this is because I think I just want to now edit read me and just like edit a little bit. I don't need to train even now, but I'm going to train it on like age 100, maybe even multiple age 100s. But for that, guys, use my affiliate link, get 50% off on spot billing and you will help me get more compute so we can all uh, it benefits everybody. By the way, you get 50% off even if you don't use my link. But uh, if you want to just help me out, you lose nothing. You just help me out, make better tutorials. So then I will CD into this experiment folder and install these requirements. I could also just tell like Gemini or Claude or whatever this guy is cursor to do it. So now what I want to do is do a learning layer, learning rate ablations. Uh, this is the first part of this experiment. So uh, we I think we always need to do learning rate search unless I uh, use this experiment in different experiment use this setup this model so then i can just use the same learning rate that as i discovered here but learning rate is very important because that like has the biggest that hyper parameter has the biggest impact on your training so i want to uh do this ablation now why is it writing a new file maybe i should have told it to just use one that already exists like run learning rate ablations i also want to start a new terminal and run python utils slash gpu monitor dot pi so here i can see how much of my gpu is being used and we want this memory to be like very high as high as possible which it ain't right now 
So I'm actually going to delete this uh, quick learning rate. This is something uh, Cursor and Claude do. They like do things I didn't tell them to tell it to do. So uh, I just told it to run like whatever I had here with the 1490 setup. I want, I plan to have like two configurations here, uh, 1490 and uh, age 100. Uh, maybe we can also add like Google Colab that's like t4 configuration or something like that and now we have 77 percent of the gpu used which is good the memory and then the compute is fluctuating so uh we just tested three learning rates quite quickly and the fact that such massive difference in validation loss here tells me that we should probably test more learning rates uh, secondly, but I think I'll just take this one. This one actually seems okay. Uh, and secondly, so is it that this lower learning rate has worse loss and then a bit higher, better, a bit higher. So maybe even a bit higher would have even better loss. But what I wanted to say is maximum tokens 5 million. This is horribly too few. So this needs to be 500 million or a billion, not 5 million. Uh, so I'm gonna tell it Look at the learning rate, but we just trained for 10 steps. Yeah, this was a test. Why did I not train for more? Oh, 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 that was just a test. I forgot. I was just testing So I tested more learning rates on more steps and I found the best learning rate 0 0.001 Then I ran the second experiment training for a thousand steps with that learning rate now my loss is actually it's same as the other big language models which makes me so happy before it was it was so different and then perplexity as well it's around right and you see loss is slowly still going down which is good because before my loss would go down like here boom zero boom that's it and that was so uh, suspicious so in this readme file in experiment six i'm showing both of these uh, results perplexity 78 this is good because usually i think it's around 50 40 50 in a well-trained llm finally 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 it's good it's good finally it already learned sentence structure although it trained for like 10 minutes on 1490 which is not age 100 that i was using in the beginning so this is uh even less training but it knows sentence structure it knows like subject verbs nouns and stuff uh but we need more training but i think this is very good so that's gonna be it for this video and uh you can check out my school below and see you next time